Apple seems to be in trouble over the design of the iPhone 6. We get details on what to expect from Samsung's next wearable, and Apple explains why iMessage didn't jump on Android. I'm Jaime Rivera, and the benefits of Friday can definitely be discussed not here, but in the bar in the corner. This is Pocket Now Daily. You know, sometimes it seems that the only problem with Fridays is that there aren't any real deals to go crazy over, and such is the case with today. So let's begin talking about Bluetooth 5. And it's not a boring topic because number one, it doubles the speed, number four, it quadruples the range. And in the whole race for the Internet of Things and the fact that Bluetooth is more efficient than Wi-Fi in power consumption and just about everything else, we cannot wait to see the first product that comes from this. So how do you pronounce it? Le Echo? Le Echo? The company is uh, making a big deal about its U.S. launch. As uh, we hear that Le Echo U.S. is going to become official in the United States as of October, and the reason why you should care is because this company is a big deal in China. One, two, there are some substantial rumors that claim that this company is going to launch the first smartphone with 8 gigs of RAM. It wouldn't be the first time that the company is the first at something. The problem is it was the first at everything in China, not here. So I cannot wait to see what their first product in the United States is going to be. And speaking of interesting rumors, we also hear that Samsung's unpacked event that's rumored for August 2nd is not only going to be about the Galaxy Note 7. Apparently there is a smartwatch in the works and it seems that it'll run Tizen. Its code name is Solus and we hear that it might be the successor to the Gear S2 which is long overdue. I'm not saying that the Gear S2 was a bad watch but it wasn't a great one either. Too bad that it doesn't run Android Wear as well. So have any of you heard of the Shenzhen Bailey 100C smartphone? I know, you haven't and neither have us, but uh, the thing is that the Beijing Intellectual Property Bureau just filed for Apple to stop selling the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus in China because it infringes with the patents of the design that came from that Shenzhen smartphone apparently earlier. This is going to be a very interesting drama, mainly because Apple is the company that usually files the patent lawsuits. We cannot wait to see how it ends. And finally, the very interesting news today have to do with a recent interview that Walt Mossberg had with some executive from Apple that he doesn't name. And according to him, the reason why iMessage did not make the jump to Android is because of very logical reasons. Number one, Apple claims to have 1 billion users in iMessage already that are active, so there's no need to look for more users elsewhere. There's enough to provide whatever case studies and whatever they need. And the second reason is because obviously they want this to be Apple's differentiation factor, uh, which is, it makes sense. This is the way Apple has always done things with the exception of iTunes, but it leads me to the question of the day. Do you think that it's fine that Apple just keeps its iMessage, or would you like to see iMessage come to Android? In my case, I would like iMessage to do so, mainly because the only reason why I don't use it is because it's not cross-platform, but leave us a comment down below. We would love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes if you want to get these news earlier before the video is filmed. Follow us on PocketNow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. In addition, you can also catch our videos on Vessel, Vessel.com slash PocketNow, and follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.